In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make smash burgers in the Weber kettle. Now I've picked up this awesome heavy duty hot plate from a place called Qtensils. I'll put all the details down in the description if you'd like to check them out. I've picked up the half steak, half hot plate. I've already seasoned it, that's why there's a bit of discoloration there, but I'll show you what we need to do to get started to make these smash burgers. So we're gonna be using one full charcoal basket for this cook. So what I like to do so I don't overshoot it is fill up our charcoal basket with briquettes or charcoal, whatever you prefer using. And then we can get a couple of fire lighters, get them going. And then we can put our charcoal chimney on top and pour our charcoal basket worth of briquettes into our chimney starter. And that way we've got the perfect amount to go back into our charcoal basket. So we've got about 10 minutes before our briquettes are gonna be ready. So let's make a burger sauce while we're waiting. Right, so real simple stuff. We're just gonna use equal parts Kewpie mayonnaise tomato sauce or ketchup for our American friends, yellow mustard, and then a good teaspoon of your favorite pickle juice. And then we just wanna mix that all together. If you wanna add some salt and pepper to your taste, then feel free to do that also. Right, so our briquettes are ready. So we are going to pour them into our charcoal basket and we're gonna make sure that's gonna be positioned under the flat plate. And then we can get our flat plate on and let that heat up for five or 10 minutes. If you don't have a flat plate like this, feel free to use a cast iron pan or a lot of gas barbecues have cast iron flat plates as well. So whatever you've got accessible, use that. So we've got a few more things ready because we've got about five or 10 minutes before our hot plate is hot enough. I usually like to do smash burgers at around that 600 Fahrenheit or 315 Celsius if you've got an infrared gun to test the temperature. But if you don't, just leave it for five or 10 minutes, get it nice and hot, and that'll be good for your smash burgers. So we've got our burger mints ready. We've gone with some brisket mints. You wanna get some mints that's about 80% lean meat, 20% fat. That's a really good ratio you wanna use. Anything either side of that is potentially gonna be too lean and it's gonna be a bit dry or it might be too fatty and it's just gonna taste greasy. And then we've got some bread and butter pickles, some burger cheese, some white onion. You can use just salt and pepper, but today we're gonna to use our steak shooter rub. We've gone with a beetroot brioche. Don't be put off by the color. It's just a bit of coloring. It tastes exactly the same as a standard white brioche. Got our burger press from Qtensils as well. Again, I'll put that link in the description if you did want to check them out, highly recommend them. Got some baking paper just to make our life a bit easier. And then we've just got our vegetable knife to slice up our white onion. We do get asked quite a bit about the knives we use. This is the Shogun Series Nakiri Vegetable Knife by Dow Strong. Really good stuff. If you want to pick up some knives, head to DowStrong.com. Have a look at the range. They ship all over the world. Really affordable knives. They've got everything you could imagine from high-end to more affordable standard sort of knives. So our hot plate is just about ready. I'm going to get this onion sliced up and then we'll get stuck into these smash burgers. Right, so we can get started by toasting our buns. Right, so our buns are toasted. We're gonna get our mince on. You also wanna make sure that you've got enough mince that it's gonna press down to be larger than your burger because it will shrink. So let's get these on. You don't wanna add any oil because we want the fat from the burger to form a nice crust. This is where our baking paper will come in. And press it down nice and firm. And take our baking paper off and do the same with the other one. And we're gonna give them about a minute, maybe 90 seconds a side. And we're just gonna season one side of our steak shooter. Right, and then you're gonna have some scraping to do, so you get a nice metal spatula. You're gonna loosen up all the sides. And give it a flip. And look at that beautiful crust on there. Absolutely perfect. So now what we can do, put our burger cheese on. And then we're gonna put our Weber lid on for about 30 seconds to let our cheese melt. All right, so our cheese has got a nice melt to it. Now we can start forming our burger. All right, so we'll remove our lid, get our first patty on. As you can see, that fits perfectly on the bun. And then our second patty. Such a beautiful crust on them burgers. Then we can lay down some white onion, as much as you like. And then a few bread and butter pickles. And then we're gonna put some of our burger sauce on to finish it off. And I can guarantee you, this is gonna be one of the best burgers you've had. Right, now it's time for a taste. Seriously, it looks and smells incredible. 
that is unbelievable. That simple combination of ingredients, that crust on the burger, such a quick and easy weeknight meal, something the kids will love. Make sure you try it yourself. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.